that a line is a set of points that extends infinitely in opposite directions. But where can we find a line? Many types of lines exist on a plane. A plane extends infinitely in all directions. It's two-dimensional, so it's flat and doesn't have any thickness. A plane can be labeled with a single letter. Therefore, we could refer to this as plane A. Within the plane, we can find multiple types of lines. Coplanar lines are simply two or more lines that are located within the same plane. So all of these lines would be coplanar lines. Some of these lines are, have specific properties to them. One set would be parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that are never going to cross, touch, or intersect with each other. We can show they are parallel with labeling them with feathers on each line. When we write it out symbolically, we can say that line AB is parallel to line CD by using the parallel symbol between line AB and line CD. But what happens when two lines do cross, touch, or intersect? Well, if it's simply two lines cross touching or intersecting, those are intersecting lines. A specific set of intersecting lines that we spend a lot of time looking at are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that specifically intersect at 90 degree angles. So here we could say that line AB is perpendicular to line CD. Again, we would have a specific symbol that we use between line AB and line CD to show that they're perpendicular. What about when more than two lines intersect? One way for that to happen is with a transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points. It's like it cuts across the line. Here we can see we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. But a transversal can also cut across intersecting lines. As long as you can see the distinct points where it cuts across the lines, it would still be a transversal. If that cuts across two lines, what happens to lines that intersect at all their points? Those would be called coincidental lines. Coincidental lines are lines that have equivalent linear relationships and overlap at every point. Without being able to see the equation though, they simply look like a single line. While all the lines that we just talked about lie in the same plane, there are also some lines that do not lie in the same plane. One type of these is called skew lines. Skew lines do not lie in the same plane and they are also commonly referred to as non-coplanar lines. They will never intersect each other since they do not lie on the same plane. So we can see we have one plane up here on the top of our cube with a line on it and then we could have another plane here on the front face of our cube. We can see that since these lines exist in different dimensions, they're never going to cross, touch, or intersect each other. So they would be skew lines. <laughs>